Hello world, it's Siraj, and I'm gonna give you five steps to study machine learning as effectively as possible in this video. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button to keep up with my AI content. The first step to studying machine learning effectively is to live a healthy lifestyle. That means taking care of yourself as a biological learning machine consisting of both mind and body. It's important to eliminate what Dr. Daniel Amen, the author of Use Your Brain to Change Your Age called ANTs, or automatic negative thoughts. These are thoughts that everybody has had at some point, like I'm not smart enough, or I'm too old, or my GPU is AMD quality. Your brain is a supercomputer, and your self-talk is the program it will run, so program your computer well. In this information age, you have access to every machine learning resource you need, including data, algorithms, computing power, and education. There's no excuse to say, I can't learn machine learning because of X. Having a positive peer group can help with this. Find people that encourage and support your learning journey. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. And if you can't find a supportive group locally, find your nearest School of AI chapter or hang out in our Slack channel. It can be just as fulfilling having social interactions online as it is offline. Also, exercise is super important to learning. Research shows that anything that's good for your heart is also good for your brain. People who exercise regularly have better blood flow and oxygen in their brains and as an inevitable result, perform better on mental acuity tests. Find a physical activity you actually enjoy, like swimming or biking, and that way you'll stick to it despite the pain. And the phrase, you are what you eat, is very much true. Try to avoid too much processed food and sugar and drink lots of water. Make this a part of your lifestyle. I myself eat a mostly paleo diet and do full body workouts using weights three times a week. Also, getting a good night's rest is essential because it's when your brain consolidates short to long-term memory. Lastly, information overload is a real thing in today's notification-driven society and can lead to burning out. Make sure to take time to disconnect. Give yourself a break. It's okay to isolate yourself from the internet to rejuvenate a bit. I put my phone on airplane mode at least two hours before I sleep every night and try to have at least one 24 hour period a week where I'm completely disconnected in nature. The second step is to optimize your learning environment. What does your study space look like? I find I can study more efficiently when I do so in a designated study space. I'm not as productive if I'm learning in the same room where I sleep. So I go to an office. It's my designated learning only zone. And it's easier to focus when you're in a clean environment. So don't have a cluttered desk. Try to minimize distractions like Black Mirror as well. Everybody has different preferences on what is considered a distraction. I try and eliminate all sound using noise canceling headphones. Libraries are always a great place to study since they are quiet and coffee shops work as well. The third step is to create a personalized learning path for yourself. I've now made several learning paths that hundreds of thousands of wizards have participated in, whether they're related to deep learning or machine learning or general computer science. The way I designed these curriculums was by first thinking of the topics in AI that interested me the most, then finding relevant Resources using Google helped me learn about those topics in order of complexity. I follow my curiosity. That's the best way to stick to any learning path. As long as it's curiosity driven, it's something that you're actually interested in, you'll have no problem putting in the time to learn it. Curiosity killed the cat, right? Wait, scratch that. 
Think of it like a meta-curriculum. Your curriculum can consist of other full curriculums, blog posts, research papers, podcasts, books. It can be as diverse as possible. Some people can learn best from videos while others learn best from pure text. By having a diverse set of learning resources, you'll learn what works best for you. And in your learning journey, it's okay to update your curriculum as you go. Sometimes you might find something new you'd like to focus on more deeply and you can allow yourself to do that. As long as you have a set of small, achievable learning goals, you'll have the reward feedback to complete your entire curriculum. A great, easy way to do this is to participate in the 100 Days of ML Code Challenge. It's a pledge to dedicate at least one hour every day to studying machine learning. Link to details will be in the video description. The fourth step is to prioritize. This is a skill that you'll always be improving at. There's a bunch of things you could be doing at any given moment, but it's important to focus on the most important tasks. Multitasking is a myth. Switching between tasks is what's actually happening, and this takes more time and it's less productive. Also, it causes more errors. Every time you switch tasks, you've got to regain focus and flow, which takes between five and 20 minutes. I create a to-do list of tasks for each day, week, month, and year, and try to stick to it as best as I can. It's worked pretty well so far. Evaluate each item on your list as to its importance for your learning goals and eliminate the unnecessary. You can use this framework of a two by two grid with four quadrants to help you prioritize mapping out concepts. It balances how useful a concept is with how much time you have to learn it. And the last step is to be an active learner. We can use the FAST framework to do this effectively. It's an acronym that stands for forget, activate, state, teach, and will help you learn anything faster. Forget means that when you're learning something new, try and temporarily forget three things. First, Forget what you already know about the subject. Lots of people don't learn faster because they feel like they already know the information. But our minds are like parachutes. They only work when opened. Mic drop. It's like that Yoda saying, you must unlearn what you have learned. Also, forget about anything that's not urgent. Remember, the brain can't multitask, and if you aren't fully present, you won't learn as well. And forget your limitations, those beliefs that your memory is bad or you don't have the right education to learn. The A stands for active. Most of us were taught in school that learning means being lectured to. The opposite is actually true. We learn by creating information and being active in the process. It's not a spectator sport. That means asking questions on Stack Overflow, taking notes while you consume educational content, and coding up solutions yourself. Spend most of your time doing, not consuming. The S stands for state. All learning is state dependent. If you feel bored, you won't be able to learn as well. So choose states of curiosity, happiness, and eagerness. You can do this by altering your posture or ideating about how learning AI will help you in the long run by giving you limitless career options. And the T stands for teach. You can literally cut your learning curve in half if you learn with the intention of teaching it to somebody else. This is what I do full time. I learn to teach and that's why I can learn so much so fast. I'm always teaching. And while learning, start with the simplest explanations first. That way you don't give up. For example, if you're trying to learn about variational autoencoders, start with a video or blog post that explains it at a high level, not the paper. And as you familiarize yourself with the concept, you can progressively increase the complexity of the educational content you consume. Oh, and one more thing. While you learn, make sure to take frequent breaks your attention and retention diminish after about 30 minutes, so breaks can help reset that. 
And that's pretty much it. I'll have links to everything I've talked about and a bunch of learning resources for you in the video description. It's learning time. Are you excited? If you like this video, hit subscribe and I'll marry you. And make sure to connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more educational content. For now, I've got to learn. So thanks for watching.